in this question it is given that the ice on the uh, polar cap uh, melt and uh, water gets collected about the equator how will affect the duration of day so let us assume that uh, we have earth here so this is the earth and uh, the earth rotate about this axis then the north pole north pole will lie somewhere here and the south pole will lie somewhere here when the ice melts uh, from the uh, polar regions then what will happen all the ice from this will start shifting towards the equator so what uh, let us assume that initial moment of inertia is i1 now as the ice shift away from the axis then the new moment of inertia will be i2 and what is the general equation for moment of inertia is m r square so if the distance from the axis increases then the moment of inertia also increases so naturally i2 will be greater than i1 so uh, and here no external forces are acting so the angular momentum remains conserved so uh, torque will be equals to zero so for conservation of angular momentum we know that i1 omega 1 is equals to i2 omega 2 so uh, omega 2 that we want to know so omega 2 will be equal to i1 omega 1 by i2 and here i2 is greater than i1 okay so naturally omega 2 will be less than omega 1 because the denominator is large okay denominator increases so that's why the revolution uh, frequency or we can say the rotation speed of the earth is uh, smaller than it was earlier or we can say that right now if it is revolving with speed omega 1 then if the ice starts melting and if the ice collected here then the distance will increase because this is the equator okay so what will happen the moment of inertia increases and as the moment of inertia increases the uh, omega 2 that is the new revolution speed will decreases so we can say that the omega 2 is less than omega 1 that is it will rotate with uh, uh, less angular speed okay so now omega is equals to 2 pi by t so it is 2 pi by t 2 less than 2 pi by t 1 so 2 pi and 2 pi will get cancelled so we can say that t2 is greater than t1 that is the day becomes long